German media this morning is reporting about a new and big threat against Tesla Giga Berlin. Melting and drying furnaces in Giga Berlin are operated with gas. And the question arises whether there is a plan to become independent of Russian gas because uh, Germany buys gas from Russia and uh, Russians have re uh, demanded that Germans should pay in national currency in, uh, uh, in rubles and Germany doesn't want to do that. Therefore, gas may be cut. And what happens if it cuts? Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and please uh, help us to reach our goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So, because of Russian gas, is Tesla Gigafactory Grünheide near Berlin threatened with the end um, uh, again? And it's not only Tesla, but a lot of big companies in the area. And even if the Russians don't cut the supply of gas, will the German government supply the gas. Okay, here's what Berlin Courier writes. First, there were problems with customers' complaints about the manufacturing quality of the first Tesla vehicles delivered from its new Giga Berlin factory. And now this, the wheels at uh, Elon Musk's Giga factory Berlin could soon come to a complete standstill as it's, um, uh, it's about the Ukraine the situation and the sanctions against Russia and a possible impending gas embargo in response to um, Russia's uh, specific operation in Ukraine. Now, Tesla plant in Grünheide is 60% dependent on gas supplies, writes Berlin Courier. So, how is this related? Brandenburg's Greens parliamentary group leader Benjamin Rushke says the picture in the event of gas delivery stops, the Tesla car factory must be shut down. If gas supply stops, Tesla Giga Berlin must be shut down, says Brandenburg's Green parliamentary group leader Benjamin Rushko. Here is the problem. 60% of the energy requirements at Tesla Giga Berlin factory depend on gas. Even if there is no gas embargo against Russia, the country itself could cut supplies overnight. For example, in response to the temporary socialization of Gazprom subsidiary Germania. In this case, the case, uh, the gas supply would have to be prioritized according to the triage model. Private households would be the last to be affected by a shutdown, while companies such as Tesla, whose products are not produced for daily needs, could be hit first. So this is a new big threat against Tesla Giga Berlin. So should uh, Russia turn off the gas tap on the gas stop come from the German side, then hospitals and schools will have the high priority, explained Rushke. Consumers also have absolute protection. Industrial companies like Tesla, on the other hand, are the first to shut down and have to do without it. According to the picture, a shutdown would affect not only Tesla in Brandenburg, but also large consumers such as the Basf chemical plant in uh, Schwarzweide and Rudersdorf cement plant. So this is a serious threat against Tesla, friends, at, against Giga Berlin. It was not expected several months ago, but now, because the NATO countries and the European Union and the West have sanctions against Russia because of the Russia's specific operations in Ukraine, and, uh, and they have sanctions, Russia says, if you want to buy gas from us, you need to pay in Russian national currency, in rubles. And the Europeans don't want to do that, and uh, so this uh, Russians probably will stop the gas supply. Uh, gas supply stops, lots of companies, including Tesla Giga Berlin, will um, have to come up with a different plan. Another shutdown like the Giga Shanghai? I don't know. But what do you think about this? Um, do you think there should be a different situation? Maybe some type of discussions with Russia? I'm trying to understand because I personally don't like how the uh, things are polarizing between the West and Russia. Maybe there should be some kind of discussion and trying to be mutual understanding of respect of mutual, uh, mutual uh, interests and hopefully bringing peace to the world. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news.
and uh, please uh, help us to reach the goal of 100,000 subscribers. God bless you everyone. Peace to Ukraine and Russia and to the world and have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon in our next Tesla report. Almost all supply bays at the Tesla Giga Berlin's body in white and general assembly are occupied and car trucks are waiting to pick up the Model Y and transport them throughout Europe. Yesterday I promised that I will have a report about Tesla Giga Berlin sending trucks of Model Y toward east, toward possibly Romania, but it looks like there is an update on that story that it's not only Romania, but it's the Romanian truck driver that are taking cars to throughout Europe. But now, what's in interesting, the production is running at Tesla Giga Berlin because almost all supply base, as you can see from uh, Jürgen's images that he uh, shares at Giga Berlin, uh, Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg Twitter page, are occupied and with body in white and general assembly uh, places are occupied with car trucks waiting to be picked up. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Hari and I have very exciting news about Tesla Giga Berlin today. Please subscribe to our channel help us to reach 100,000 subscriber goal we have 70,000 hopefully by mid-year with your help we will reach that, that goal i would greatly appreciate it a lot of interesting things are happening at giga berlin friends tesla's brand new giga factory near berlin germany just officially opened on march 22nd 2022 as promised during the event ceo elon musk delivered the first 30 german made model y crossovers to customers and now tesla is sending model y vehicles from giga berlin throughout europe we have heard reports from denmark italy now east and everywhere however there have been questions surrounding when the u.s electric automaker will be ramping up production and delivering more model wise it appears it has already began if you have not missed my previous stories i have several reports about tesla giga berlin's ramp up numbers what happens next in grunheide and in giga berlin look them up friends they're very interesting reports that will give you full picture now based on footage from various drone operators and images Tesla is already transporting Model Y crossovers away from the factory grounds to begin deliveries. According to an article by Tesla Radi, drone videographer Tobias Lin captured footage of Model Y vehicles leaving Giga Berlin. I reported this a couple of days ago. Now, you can watch Lin's latest video. I will have the link in the description of this video. He told Tesla Radi that Model Y SUVs have officially been delivered in multiple countries, including Denmark, Italy, and Netherlands. If the drone footage isn't enough to convince you that Tesla is now delivering more Model Y crossovers in Germany, or you have a different explanation for the electric SUVs on car carriers, there is more news to substantiate the situation. New Model Y owners in Germany and beyond are beginning to report that they have taken delivery of their Tesla vehicles. We have seen that on their Twitter accounts. Tesla Radio also points to Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg on Twitter since it has posted multiple images of the German-made Model Y deliveries underway in various European countries. This is very important good news for Tesla friends because um, uh, Tesla Giga Shanghai is now closed because of this virus outbreak in China. This is why Model Y reproduction ramp up in Giga Berlin becomes even more important for Tesla's figures and numbers that we will see coming from the first uh, quarter of 2022. Very minor uh, number there because Tesla just started last week at Giga Berlin but also mainly the second quarter of Tesla's number of 2022 should be very promising numbers coming from Giga Berlin so please subscribe to our channel and also help us to reach our goal because we will bring these numbers to you several other posts on Twitter are now popping up on social media related to model wide deliveries from Giga Berlin Twitter account best Lean Tesla uh, at <laughs> that tweets at Tesla best handle posted uh, a tweet which takes us to an informative video about made in germany tesla model y showing how the uh, that that thing uh, that the video is so a lot of good things a lot of new developments at giga berlin what do you think friends let me know your thoughts in the comment section below this is armin harian from torquenews.com have a wonderful rest of the day please again subscribe to our channel help us to reach our goal and grow this channel as we will bring you daily tesla news um wonderful day everybody god bless you peace be with all of you and to the world and let's move on to our next tesla story